Hello, thanks for joining me. Today I'll be making hummus. Let's get started. Okay, here I have my processor. I have some tahini, but you can make this at home with just sesame seeds and some olive oil or canola oil and a pinch of salt. And you process it until it's nice and smooth. So we're going to add some tahini in here. Get some at the bottom it a little better. Get about half of this jar, I guess. Mm -hmm. Set this aside. And I'm going to add some lemon juice. That's about a tablespoon. We're going to just process this until it's nice and smooth. It won't take long because it's already kind of smooth from coming out of the jar. So. That took about a minute or so. Mm hmm So I have some garlic that I um, roasted in my air fryer until it was just tender. I think that was about 10 minutes, 10 or 12 minutes or so. Got to put those in there. And that's a large one and a couple of small ones. It depends on how much garlic you like. I have some clarified butter, but you can add some olive oil or canola oil or whichever oil, oil you like. Let me see, that's one. That's about three teaspoons. I'm going to add in some cumin. I'm just going to add a few shakes, maybe. That's about a good teaspoon. And I'm going to add some turmeric, just for color. There you go. Some salt. About an eighth of a teaspoon. And we're going to just give this a, a spin. That was about a minute. We're going to go in and wipe the sides down. I'm making a really small amount, so. That's not a lot to do around the side. And I'm going to do it for about another 30 seconds. See what that looks like. And I have a can of chickpeas that I have washed and drained. We're going to get these down in here. I'm going to do them a little bit at a time. Maybe half and then the other half. Mm hmm. We're going to do this until it's smoothed out, until uh, the beans are smoothed out. Okay, we got those going. And I have some Parmesan cheese, just because I like to add a little more flavor. It was about a little over a uh, teaspoon, and I'm going to add the rest of these in. It's going to be a little thick, so I have some water here. Gonna add a little water. And here we 
go again. about a minute or so. Mm. Remember the taste to make sure it's just the way you like it. I'm going to add it's a little more clarified butter. Use whatever you're using. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add some paprika for color. Come on out of there. A little shake of parsley. There you go. Right. What are you going to eat it with? I'm going to make some chips. And I'm going to use um, tortillas that I had in the refrigerator. Why not? Keep them wasting. Of course, you don't have to cut them like this. Just cut them any way you like. Mm hmm Just making some little chips, that's all. They're not pretty. But like I always tell you, they don't always have to look good, but it always has to taste good. Right now, with garlic powder, I'm going to add some oil. 
And this is just a little veggie oil, that's all. And crisp them, help crisp them up. And I have some garlic powder. I'm going to put them into the air fryer. And we're going to let them go for about, uh, we'll try seven minutes first. Make sure the oil is all over. Not heavy. Just enough to coat. Just enough to coat. And they're going into the air fryer to crisp up. That took about 10 or 12 minutes. I kept going in and out. Make sure you go in and out of the uh, air fryer so that they don't burn. Let them cool a little bit so that you'll have a crisp. And let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. Try it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think you'll like it. For a little more. Mm -hmm. You get the crunch of those chips? Make your own. I mean, don't go and buy a bag and you have some tortillas in the fridge. Just use those. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can make them spicy. Add any of the spices that you like. Mm-hmm. Thanks for watching, and remember to pray. Pray for her, pray for him, pray for you. Pray for them, pray for us. Don't stop praying. Pray. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and tap that bell if you haven't. And if you have, thank you so much. Share with friends and family, and comment. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, stay safe and stay blessed. Hey, I love you. You, I really do. Later.